Um, I just want to say this film was incredibly inspiring and so beautiful to watch. Um, my question for you is, what made you want to tell this story? I love your background, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, Jose's story is just so moving, inspiring, exceptional, amazing by itself that I that I obviously wanted to to work around it, to be near that uh, whole feeling that it provoked uh, the first time I knew about it. I also wanted to do something that brought justice to the Mexican-American community. And I wanted to praise, uh, you know, migrant farm workers who put food on everyone's tables every day. So it was a bunch of things that, that, that draw my attention and that made sense to me. Well, I think that all came across beautifully. So thank you for that. Thank you. Hi, hola Alejandra. Uh, congratulations for the movie. I really love it. So it's a powerful movie for all the families, especially for the Mexicans. So tell me, uh, how was the process to select the name of the movie? The, I, when I actually came into the project, the film had its title, so I didn't, I didn't select it. But I, but I was, it, I mean, it made total sense to me. So I wouldn't even fight the idea of having that title. I think it's perfect. It's it refers to you know distance, the dis, the distance that that can, that you know, it's a metaphor about how how far away Jose was from it, from his dream, but also it's, it's a, you know, it has to do with the distance that a rocket has to, to recur. Thank you. Oh well, yeah, hi. Um, it's nice to meet you. Um, I thought I was taking my son to like a astronaut movie because he loves space, but then it turned out to me to be like this beautiful love story. I'm bawling my eyes out, um, mm -hmm. family love, romantic love, you know. And so I was wondering, like, is love an important theme to you? It is. I mean, in every in every form that it has, I think romantic love was an important thing in this movie, I guess. I mean, because love is important, but also because you don't get to see many love stories in the Mexican American world or in the depiction of that world. So, so to me, that was, you know, having those little details uh, about the, her family, him going, you know, the first date. So that was an important portrayal that I want to do. I loved it. I felt like I was there a little bit and it, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you. This is a compliment. Uh, hi, Alexandra. Um, um, <laughs> Alejandra, excuse me. Um, sorry for getting nervous. I'm a little nervous, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Like I told Jose, I'm excited that this is coming out at the beginning of Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month. I think it's, it's a great film for everybody to watch. Um, the one question that I did have is like when you had the script in front of you, and you were planning out your, your your shooting days, what was the one scene that you were like really excited to shoot, but also wanted to make sure that you got it right for to be released or for people to watch? I'd say that most scenes in this film <laughs> hit that case. I think everything was such a, such a big challenge that I could say that about tens of scenes in the film, but maybe the T-38, is the biggest, I think the T-38 was a big one for me. Thank you, gracias. De nada. Hi Alejandra, thank you for taking time to speak with us today. I was telling Jose, I really loved the movie. It, it was emotional, it was inspiring. It was just, it was wonderful. I love the community feel. All of it. It was like, uh, you know, you said it wasn't just a movie about astronauts. It was, it was a movie about community. Mm -hmm. um, but with the astronaut thing, I have to say that training sequence, that kind of gave me anxiety, especially when they were trapped under the water. 
Uh, what was it like filming that? Did you guys get to actually go to like a NASA facility to work on that? Or was that all just like no. built on a set somewhere? No, we built the set. We shot the whole film in Mexico, in Mexico, around Mexico City or in Mexico City. And we went to this humongous pool in Mexico City and we recreated the whole training which was more than challenging because we had to actually have people who could, you know, arrange that stunt and actually do that, that stunt as they would do in a military facility, you know, as a, as a very sophisticated piece of training. So it was, we, we spent a lot of time thinking <laughs> about how to do it, to do it. And, and it was fun and challenging and long. <laughs> I believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. So when we spoke with Jose, he talked a little bit about um, how some of the actors reached out to the family and they did Zoom calls and whatnot to kind of get to know a little bit more about the people that they were portraying in the film. And I'm wondering um, if you were involved in that process at all or if you had any input and what that was like. Well, Michael was in the project because it's inimaginable to have to not have Michael Peña in this film. He's like the biggest Mexican American movie star. Um, but the rest of the cast was a fun, it was a fun uh, activity to, to choose them, to talk to them and to see how they play together. Uh, I think Rosa is just, Rosa Salazar is just the most amazing actress in the world and, and she's all light and when she comes into the film, she lights the film. Um, I think Julio Cesar Cedillo and Veronica Falcón who play uh, Jose's father and mother. <sighs> no, they're such, such talents. Bobby Soto. I mean, I don't know. I was so lucky and I feel so privileged because it's easy to do your job when you come to set and, you know, everything is, ta -da, it's there. I know there's, it's probably going to be hard to pick one um, and maybe just pick a few of your favorites, but what lesson do you really hope that the audience learns through this film? I hope the audience takes the fact, as I, as I understood Jose's story from the beginning, that it takes, I mean, it is that because he was a migrant farm worker that he got, that he became an astronaut, not otherwise, you know, it's not despised of his origins. It's because of the ethics and, you know, the hard work and, um, and the resilience that the field taught him that he had the tools uh, and as Beto says in the film, who better than a migrant to dare leave this planet. I loved that line, beautiful. <laughs> Hi again. So I really like the music. Um, did you speak yeah. with Jose regarding, say, hey, let's do the Tigres del Norte. Let's do the Juan Gabriel. How was it? Because I really have a, a great time listening to music. I know it's like a karaoke playlist. I always think of it like it would be a very nice karaoke night. Uh, it, it had to do, I mean, yeah, Jose had to do with it because he he played uh, Jose Alfredo Jimenez, El Hijo del Pueblo, as a wake up song when he was in the International Space Station. Every astronaut gets to pick one song and that was the one he picked. So I. I thought it should be on the film. But then uh, the Los Tigres del Norte was actually uh, a pick from Michael Peña, who said like, that's my dad's favorite song. And I would love to sing that if that's possible. And, I, and, and of course, I, I think it's important that, that everyone brings something from their hearts to the film. And if Michael was happy with that, I was super happy with that. I mean, Los Tigres del Norte, amazing. And then, of course, Juan Gabriel and everything else was a, a natural pick for the timing and the relevance it has in the community. Thank you. Gracias. 
Um, so I bet you, I know you probably watched this like a, a million times over and over, but is there like a part that um like that you you watch over and over again specifically that you love that you've created? I love the love scenes. <laughs> I really enjoy them. I'm like, ah, whenever I am watching the film again, I can't wait for them to arrive. But I, I have to say, this is the first time something like this happens. I get emotional every time I watch the film, and I've watched the film hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. And it's it, it, I think it has to do with something that's within Jose's story. It does, it, it's not about what I did or my work. I think it has to do with a primal, you know, vibe that Jose's story has in it. Thank you. It's yeah. I yeah. I still think I'm still you know <laughs> watched it last night. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alejandra, this year we've gotten a lot of I can say. Uh, good biographies about the Hispanic culture. Uh, we had Flaming Hot earlier this year. Uh, we have A Million Miles Away coming out Friday, and then we have Cassandra also coming out on Friday. Um, of all of these, I mean, there's a lot of stories of our culture that need to be told. Now that we've, I guess, now that you've done this one, are you like eyeing another, his, like, you know, Hispanic person or, or woman that you think we should have a movie made of, or like what would be like your next project or dream project? If you could just make any movie about our culture right now, I, I, I have written a story about my grandmother's migration. She left San Luis Potosi for Chicago in the '60s. She was chasing my grandfather, who had moved, moved up there and moved on, you know, and and so she had to discover uh, a new life with with her kids in a new country. And she became like a sort of Cesar Chavez of her block. And she was very, she was like a mother for many. And so, I, yeah, that's that's my next, it's not as, it's, it's not as lightful as Jose's story, but it's, I think, a, a necessary tale as well. My, my family came from Guatemala to Chicago. <laughs> wow. So Jose was talking about his cameo and how he it was something that he was so used to doing. It was just like, you know, riding a horse kind of thing or riding a bike. Uh -huh. Was was it always the plan to have him cameo in there? And were you undecided about where to put him and then it just kind of fell into place or how did it come about? That that was it. Uh, I We knew he he had to be on the film somewhere and and we wanted to choose like the perfect a cameo for him because we wanted we wanted it to be symbolic you know and and honor him in a way so it was a nice thing to have him as a close out engineer <laughs> yes so obviously jose is an astronaut michael has played an astronaut more than once before this um how closely did you work with, or did you work with other NASA or technical advisors on sort of the accuracy of those types of behind the scene things like with the trainings and you know shuttle launches and that type of thing? We worked very closely with NASA. Uh, Michael and I got to visit NASA and do the artist training, which is a special training they have for actors who are gonna play astronauts. We got to speak with a bunch of astronauts and, you know, visit the facilities. So, yeah, it was, I think, super important to have that. And we had Jose, you know, a text away. So it was every any doubts on the exam. I used to like, Jose, help. How, how should we do this? What would, you know, would an astronaut say in this situation? So I was lucky. Thank you. 